or no? Did I ever tell you guys about the time that I got Greg Kinnear fired when I was in college? No. <laughs> no. Okay, I'll tell that story. Tell you about the time I got Greg Kinnear fired? What? Go on. Did I ever tell you this story? No. I think you've told, I'm not sure if it was it's on the podcast. It's going to be a segue to an ad read. Mm-mm. Oh. oh. So I was in college. <laughs> uh, there was a buddy of mine. His name was Dal. <laughs> Dal? D A L. That's his name. Dal. Uh, who was friends with his left, left, left. Last name, <laughs> his last name Rod? <laughs> Dal had a job uh, where he worked for the state of Texas. And he would make agricultural surveys on the phone. And in college, you give all your friends shit. You just you know, give each other a bunch of grief. And so I don't know why I thought it was funny. I started talking to Dal and I said, that Dow's job was to count cows for the government, and that's what his job was, that he would go out and count cows for the government. It became this long-running joke. But then there was this show on Fox. It was called Best of the Worst. And they had a thing where they were trying to find the worst job in America. And it was one of these network shows where they had like a satellite distribution thing down through like local radio stations. Mm -hmm. They were going to find the worst job in Austin, then the worst job in Texas, then qualify for the finals of worst job in America <coughs> and be crowned it. And... Uh, they were saying they had this contest for the worst job in Austin. And I was like, oh, this is fucking funny. I'll call the radio station. I'll do my Dow impression. Call the radio station. It was, I think, Bob and Mike at the time. And uh, I called them. They got, I got on the air. And they said, we got Dow Latchaw. <laughs> no, right, maybe I shouldn't say Dow's last name. We got Dow on the air. Dow, what do you do for a living? I said, I count cows for the government. And I went through this whole long spiel about, like, counting cows and how it's important. And, like, don't, like, look down <laughs> when you're counting cows because you might step in something. I made a joke like, yeah, every hamburger I eat is one less cow I have to count and all this. And, and then, <laughs> so I go to my test, my chemistry test. I come home that day, fall asleep because I've been up all night studying. Right. I wake up like just in time for dinner because I just crashed from doing an all nighter studying. I walk down to the dining room and on the bulletin board on the second floor is a note saying, hey, Dal, call the radio station. You won that contest. And then a big question mark next to it. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And I was just happy because I had, a, I had recorded a tape of uh, my appearance on the radio. Down, I was going to play it at dinner for everybody. Dow won uh, worst job in Austin uh, contest. I don't know if it, did it said worst job, right? Not yeah. best job, worst job. job. Worst job in Austin contest. And I was like, holy shit. I go, well, I wonder if there's a prize associated with this. Well, it turns out it was part of a nationwide thing where they were trying to find the worst job in America. Mm. He wins the Texas contest. What? He then qualifies for the top five finalists in the nation oh for God. this best of the worst jobs in America. And then Dal starts to panic, because Dal's like, I'm gonna lose my job. He goes, at the, you're gonna get so mad because it's like I work for the government, they're mad. I was like, I was like, just don't even tell them, no one will know about it or whatever. And I said, just tell the people who make the TV show, tell them that. So they come out and they, they, Dal says, well, he even forms them. He says, I don't really like go out and count cows because I'm on the phone and I make these surveys. My friend just did it because that'd be funny. They go, oh, don't worry about that. We got this. So they went out and they got some land, with, got, like hired a local rancher, let him use the land. We get the cows. They gave him a bullwhip and, <laughs> and a hat, you know? And he's out there, one, two, three. They filmed this really funny package. Dal wins the national contest. He won like some big cash prize. He won a trip out to Hollywood. They have him on stage except a big check. This was like the end of their season. With, they have a cow out on stage with him and everything. And he wins. He wins like a trip to Seattle, which at the time was a funny joke about a lousy trip because he yeah. won a like best of the worst trip. Then this local <laughs> reporter, do you know John Kelso, who mm -hmm. writes for the state, Statesman? Yeah. He's like a hacky kind of Andy Rooney dude. but I just, hate, hate him. Hate him. <laughs> fucking hate him. Now you'll hate him even more. So he calls and he's like, hey, I heard that this uh, UT kid <laughs> won this national <laughs> contest on Fox. And Dow goes, well, that's the funny thing. It's all a big joke. I don't really do that. It's only part of what I do, and they film the whole package. John goes, and goes thanks very much. Like, hangs up, picks up the phone, calls Fox. He goes, hey, you know this kid that won your national contest? It's all a big <laughs> hoax, right? They were like, what? They, they fucking, fucking canceled, canceled the, the show. show. And they like replaced Dow's package and his winner that they filmed in L.A., with the, I think the woman who picked ticks off the ducks ended up winning. Bulldozing chicken shit's worse, but go ahead. Way worse. Yeah. But they didn't bring her out or anything like that because then they just straight up canceled the show. And six months later, we're watching E, uh, Channel E Entertainment News, and there's a show called Talk Soup On, and we're watching it with Greg Kinnear, and Dell walks and goes, that's the guy. And I go, what? He goes, that's the guy. Hey, that was the guy on the host of the show that I was on. And we looked it up. Sure enough, it was fucking Greg Kinnear was the host of the show that we accidentally got canceled. And then Greg Kinnear ended up on Talk Soup, and he's a fucking 
you know, Oscar winning now actor wow. as a result wow. of all of that. Jesus. Good job. And he became the huge star that he is. Jesus. So if I ever meet Greg Kinnear, I'm going to tell him, I think I played an important part in your life. You just in your say career. you're welcome when you meet Me him. and my buddy Dal in high school, in uh, college. You can really affect the entire world with the <laughs> dumbest stuff. Like it's anyone can. Butterfly. Yeah. It just shows you like one dumb decision can affect the world in, in quite a big yeah. way. If I, yeah, it's that so cool. That is quite a domino effect that that thing has. Isn't that fucking weird? It's it's awesome. Awesome. Test that day, if you weren't up studying, there's like so many little variables that contribute to that. That's yeah. Crazy. I thought I, the end of the story was going to be like some cow counting firm. I thought that was like. <laughs> You're hired. Accountants? <laughs> we, 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 we